What's going on guys, JPB Dude here. Hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome Friday. And thank you guys for watching my videos as well. And with that being said, let's get on with the gameplay. I am going second this game, and I have no idea what kind of deck my opponent could be playing. So I see the part of Extravagance and 3 set. So I know my opponent is playing Eldritch. Like I'm 90% sure my opponent is playing Eldritch at this point. And if you look at my hand, I do have a starter card. My opponent is going to end this turn, it's going to be my turn. I draw into a cross out and then start my turn off of the Roxies. He's going to pop open a skill drain and again, skill drain doesn't affect prank kids as much because we run skill drain ourselves and it only deny, uh, denies us our doodle do search. But I had a pandemonium in my hand anyways, so I'll only need a copy of pranks. So I don't care about the doodle do negate as well. So I'm going to banish the skill drain since skill drain is already active on the field. Draw into a terraforming, which is a pretty good top deck. Activate terraforming, go into my place, search for a drop seize, and go into my combo. So, since I know I'm playing against an Eldritch player, I want to go into a full combo, a two card full combo. So, he's going to chain link his Hakuero plus the Eldritch Serve of the Scarlet Sanguine to my Doodle Doo. So, he's going to special out an Eldritch to the Golden Lord, and then Hakuero will banish the Fanzies again. This does not matter to us because it just banishes, it doesn't negate, so we can still go with the combo. I'll activate Pandemonium, go into Rocket Ride, get the two graveyard activations, get two more special summons on the field. Then I'll use the two special summons, go into Bow Wow Park. Again guys, with the full two card combo, you need to keep the ex this monster zone under the extra monster zone you summon your Doodle Doo into open, otherwise you'll be stuck with one card combo. So I'm going to do all that, activate my Doodle Doo. So, okay, at this point, if you're going turn one, right? If you do turn one full uh, two card combo, you need to, if you don't have a hard copy of a prank case monster you need for the butler combo in your hand, you need to get a copy of Pandemonium plus a copy of the card you need for the butler combo from your graveyard back to your hand off of the Doodle Doo's tribute. But since I had Thunder Dragon Fusion in my hand and I was going second, I did not need to do that, so I searched for a Pranks plus a Pandemonium off of my Doodle Doo. Well, not search, but get back from my graveyard. I activate my Thunder Dragon Fusion, go into my Battle Butler. So I activate the place, boost my monsters up by 500, kill all of his monsters, and then set down my cards, activate my Pranks. At the end of my turn, recycle cards, and then draw into a Max C. Maxi, not that much of a good draw against Eldritch because they don't special summon a bunch of times. They could special summon maybe one, once or twice and that's about it, but yeah. So I'm going to activate Maxi anyways because I want to draw cards. As you see right there, he's going to activate the Eldlixer. I'm going to chain link my Bow Bark to it, get my copy of my Fanzies plus my Roxies from the graveyard into my hand, Elixir will set down a Conquistador, and then Maxi will resolve. Okay, so it's my opponent's turn, main phase 1, he sets down 1, activates Golden Lord, pops my plates, and then Lava Golems, both my big monsters. So this is one special summon. I draw into a Lamb Seize off of that. Okay, pretty cool. So now, I'll do my graveyard activations of my big Prankist boss monsters. So I'll chain link it this way. I'll chain link one Butler target my Bow Wow Bark for special summoning, chain link to my roaster and target the butler to recycle my butler back into the extra deck. So you'll see right now, butler back into my extra deck, Bow Wow Bark back on the field, he'll activate the Golden Lord on his graveyard, target the Conquistador, pop the Conquistador and special out the Golden Lord with 3500 attack onto the field in attack position. He's, so I did two top decks from the Maxi. One Lamb Seas, one Drop Seas. Now guys, li literally my Butler combo is online again because I have all three cards I need for my Butler and my Butler is back in my extra deck. So he's going to attack. I'm going to let him first attack into my Bow Wow Bark and once he tries to end his turn, then I will go into my Butler because then he can bump his Golden Lord into my Butler to kill my Butler. Then I'll activate all the graveyard activations of my Prankist cards and now my butler is safely on the field, right? Like, we're chilling. 
and off of the prank is graveyard activations i'll get two copies of dropsies on the field because i do want to go into totally awesome on my turn and you know try to at least deny one card activation of his back row if i can so he's going to activate conquistador plus aquero set down the scarlet plus another elixir on the field and end his turn so it's going to be my turn i draw a card i draw into a prank is lampsies and sadly the lava golem starts a chain link and he chains a vanity's emptiness to the lava golem's chain on standby phase so i can't go into my totally awesome so i'm stuck with the cards i have on the field and i have no way of sending a card on the field to the graveyard to pop the vanity's emptiness so i put the lava golem in attack end my turn recycle three cards draw into a nibiru his golden lord loses the 1000 attack boost and he Okay, so the opponent has a Golden Lord in the graveyard as well. So on his draw phase, in his main phase 1, he'll activate the Golden Lord in his graveyard, send to the graveyard the Elixir, get the Golden Lord in his hand. So I don't know if my opponent knew this, but he did have Vanity's Emptiness active on the field. But like, if it sees a card going from the field to the graveyard, you could destroy that card. But the priority in the ranking of the activations is that he first activated the Golden Lord, right? To pop the card to special summon out. So the special summon of the Golden Lord takes priority over the, the destruction of the Vanity's Emptiness. So Vanity's Emptiness will deny him his Golden Lord special, pop itself, and like he's left with, he can't get the 3500 Golden Lord on the field. He'll activate the Elixir of the Scarlet Sanguine and the one in the graveyard. And sadly, like he doesn't have any more Golden Lords. He's probably running only two. So he specials out a copy of Ash Blossom and then <laughs> like sets down a Conquistador but like he scoops right after that. Like the he made a misplay with the Vanity's Emptiness and the Golden Lord special play and he scooped off of that and that's gonna be the end of the game. It was a pretty funny thing that he did. He misplayed. I mean I'm not gonna bust his balls for it but anyways guys that's gonna be the end of the game. If you guys do like my video, consider hitting the like button, subscribe, share, comment, hit the notifications icon. And this is JPP Deal signing off for today. See you guys in the next video. Peace!